base meshes or starting a model from scratch. Hi, my name is Azaria and in this video snippet, snippet, insert, oh, whatever. Uh, okay, yeah, in this video segment, we are going to discuss the two. All right. So, a lot of people well, m most people want to know which which is the better route, and the thing is that um, the answer isn't always that black and white. It's not always that cut and dry. It depends on a few factors. Number one, what is it that you're doing? Why are you doing it? And is it the only reason why you're doing it? And I'll further explain these questions as I roll along. So number one is like, why are you doing it? Is it a personal project? Is it, is it, is it, is it a studio gig? Are you freelancing or are you building your portfolio? And if for number one, it is for a client, then another question you should ask yourself is, um, what is the aesthetic? All right. And once you have established what the aesthetic is, does your base mesh meet the aesthetic requirements and if it does then guess what you can use the base mesh but if your client has a much more I don't know wild taste I'm kidding but <laughs> but if your client has something much more elaborate or something more particular and none of your base meshes can can offer you that springboard to begin then Ideally, you should build it from scratch because sometimes to work from a base mesh and alter it to a stage where you are ready to start a stylized um, a, 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 a stylized project or, or, or a stylized task, it, it, it really takes longer. So number one, if you're doing it for a client, just confirm what the aesthetic is and does the aesthetic align with your base mesh or your base meshes then number two if it's a personal piece then this is where I would personally like once again all right this isn't um, industry standard <laughs> this is my personal preference all right this is how I would advise you if you're asking me something I would say if, if, if you're going to be doing personal projects um, if you're going to be doing portfolio pieces, then this is an opportunity for you to really grow and challenge yourself as an artist. So start from scratch. When you start from scratch, you start to to, to pretty much challenge yourself to see um, how long does it take you to complete a particular task, how long does it take you to complete an overall task, um, practice your anatomy, practice your shapes, your forms, practice your silhouettes, practice your balancing, all right? You are pretty much spoiled for choice when you start from scratch because you have a lot of, um, you have a lot more freedom, you have a lot more wiggle room and this is where you run into happy little accidents and you develop techniques, all right? But if you are using a base mesh, then I would say use it as a guideline all right but not as a sure thing right ideally dabble in both right so use a base mesh because maybe you don't understand proportion and your base mesh looks more or less proportional but when you are working on your personal projects or you are practicing or you are having fun start things from scratch all right learn proportions learn shapes learn um, how to achieve different types of aesthetics and before you know it you become an even better artist there's a stigma that um, a true artist doesn't use a base mesh but now my question is if you are in a studio environment and there's a certain look and feel that the studio has to produce time and again you are telling me that all those models you're gonna build them over and over from scratch that's ridiculous all right some things require uh, a logical standpoint they, 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 they require a logical understanding and it's really easy to build your 
your base mesh and it's really easy to clean up your base mesh and if you guys want I can I can hammer out a tutorial that shows you how to build a proportionally correct base mesh and how to work on it topology wise and so on and so forth but in closing I just want to say that it really is up to you as an artist I gave you my two cents worth with regards to where would I use a base mesh, where would I start a project from scratch. And also bear in mind that when you start things from scratch, there's a million and one ways to get to the final product. Some start with a sphere, some start with a cube, some start with a plane, all right? So it, it, it really boils down to um, exploring these techniques and finding out what you are more comfortable with what enables you to work faster, what slows you down, or what gets you near accurate results. But other than that, um, in the description there's a link to a couple of tutorials that I made. There's one on how to create dreadlocks in ZBrush. There's one that shows you how to, how to have or how to incorporate a marvelous designer and an Autodesk Maya pipeline. That way you can create clothes in Marvelous Designer and have them animated um, as well. Uh, it's it's a very it's a very thick and heavy tutorial. So yeah, you guys have been warned. My name is Azaria, and thank you so much for checking out my video. Uh, if you are seeing this on YouTube, like and subscribe. Um, if you are seeing this on Facebook, then uh, hi, how are you doing? And <laughs> I'll see you guys on the next video.